Hi, uh, do you want to improve the fuel economy of your car? We have got 23 tips over here to improve the fuel economy or the mileage of your vehicle. If you follow at least half of it, your fuel economy can be improved to a minimum of 15%. So what we have is we have divided it into three main divisions. One is the driving style. The driving style of yours has to be altered. Then the maintenance of your vehicle. Third one is the mental driving style that you're following. So three of these strategies. First, we'll go and learn about the first one, which is the driving style. The economic speed. Are you following the economic speed of your vehicle when you drive? Normally in city drives, it's said to be like 40 to 50 uh, km per hour in Indian roads, the economic speed of most of the vehicles is just set. So if you follow an economic speed of the vehicle, that can reduce a lot on the engine. High. Even if you go on the highways, if you choose to go on 100 miles per hour, if you can reduce up to 80 or 70 miles per hour, the fuel economy increases naturally. So that's all about uh, the first topic. Then second is lighten the weight. I have seen that most of the vehicles have one driver in, but in the dicky, if you open it, they have a lot of garbage or junk being kept over there. Uh, it will be with the vehicle always, but the start of the vehicle till we are selling off the vehicle, that load will be there. The load on the vehicle or the dead weight on the vehicle increases uh, the fuel consumption so reduce the junk or reduce those items which are not required to be kept inside the vehicle which will lighten the vehicle down and it will increase uh, the fuel mileage so that's the second topic third one is smooth acceleration uh, you have seen maybe when you drive you accelerate much faster and the sound of the engine would go like vroom, vroom. don't do that you just accelerate slowly or the fuel burn will be moderate and the power which is produced will be consistent so don't accelerate fast, don't step on the acceleration button very fast so that more fuel is getting burned which will reduce the fuel economy of your vehicle. Then uh, skip the gears. When you drive, you start the vehicle in first gear, right? Then if you go to 30 uh, km per hour or 40 km per hour in first gear, then uh, just go to second gear and skip the third gear and go to the fourth gear. But normally people do one first gear, then they go to the second gear, then to the third, then to the fourth, then to the fifth. Uh, better you do uh, in first gear accelerate to 20 miles per hour then skip the second gear or the third gear then just go towards the fourth gear. If it's possible to skip any gear in between that can increase uh, the fuel economy because you are not slowing down the vehicle you are not giving extra load towards the transmission so that normally increases uh, the fuel mileage when you skip gears. Uh, that's one thing. Then reduce braking. Number of braking we increase uh, that much increased amount of fuel has to be burned when the vehicle starts from a stop because the top requirement is much higher when the vehicle moves from a stop so more fuel required to be burned during that period of time so please avoid doing that and then the uh, sixth one is about the uh, air conditioning AZ uh, off the vehicle AZ when you are in a stop that means when you are in a signal better off the vehicle itself if you are not offing the vehicle in a signal or in a radio cross Better you off the AC for that 30 seconds or 1 minute. Um, the cooling will not go outside but when the AC is on what happens is that more load on the engine will be happening because the engine is not running, it is in idle condition. So uh, it will uh, affect your uh, fuel economy. So better off the uh, vehicle when off the AC when you are on a stop. And the sweet speed of the car, that is same as almost economic speed. But sweet, sweet speed means for each vehicle you will have a sweet speed. Uh, that's up to you to identify what is the sweet speed of your vehicle. You have to check the mileage of your vehicle in a week or in a month time and you will understand that when you go uh, on a highway or in a city drive at a particular speed, you are getting more mileage out of it. Say a 40 to 50 km in a city drive or 70 or 75 uh, km per hour in a highway or an 80 km per hour. So that is the sweet speed that you have to identify which gives the additional mileage for your vehicle. That's one. And don't drive closer to another vehicle. Don't drive closer like this because when you drive closer, it is more frequently you will have to apply the brake and you will not be able to move in a smoother speed of your acceleration. So, more number of braking will reduce the fuel economy. So, keep a safe distance so that you can accelerate smoothly. Even the front vehicle brakes, you can have a, a travel distance over there so, can, so you can avoid the braking or lowering the gears, which will reduce the fuel economy as such. And that's the one thing. Uh, keep windows closer. That's another thing. Keep the windows closed when you drive because when it's open, the aerodynamic drag increases. The air in enters into the vehicle and that 
gives a resistance for the vehicle so more load need to be carried by the engine to drive against the aerodynamic drag so keep uh, the windows closed and put on the AC one thing because uh, that also helps uh, dust particles will not enter the vehicle we we'll keep the vehicle clean if uh, the windows are closed uh, don't store the fuel and uh, use for pumping I mean there are some uh, people who store the fuel in cans or containers at their home and as per the requirement they take the fuel from that but what happens is that that uh, practice if you use the moisture will be more uh, in that uh, type of fuel and when the moisture is more when the vehicle drives up and when the air con container or the tank becomes hot this will evaporate and that will cause uh, what water when it evaporates and it settles down when it gets cold that gives water deposits inside the fuel and that can uh, harm your fuel pump that can reduce the fuel economy assets the fuel pump will get harmed and also your fuel economy will reduce so don't store fuel just stop in the petrol pumps and take the fuel as many required and don't keep uh, half below half tank of fuel it's recommended always to keep uh, half tank of fuel more because when the fuel reduces below the half level or nearing to a lesser level what happens is that the fuel pump needs to uh, get more strain or more uh, more uh, load has to be given by the fuel pump to suck the fuel out so that can also harm your fuel economy in case of the fuel pump uh, does that and the most safest way is to uh, make a full tank of your uh, fuel at the end of the day so that your tank is full throughout the night and there is no uh, moisture which is getting condensed and water deposits will not happen if you have half or there is very less amount of fuel in your tank and if it has uh, vapors inside the tank what happens is that when it gets cold in the night these vapors uh, will condense and the water deposits will happen in the fuel and this fuel is going to the fuel pump and mostly on modern generation vehicles the fuel pump is uh, lubricated by the fuel itself there is no additional lubrication given to the fuel pumps so in this particular case the fuel pump itself will get damaged if the fuel has water so avoid that fuel your uh, vehicle at night itself keep it in full tank that's more safer and avoid idling of your just run in a very slow speed and that can make the vehicle uh, or the engine to get its optimum temperature and don't don't keep idling the vehicle so that's the strategies in driving style the next one is uh, the part of maintenance uh, do the schedule maintenance effectively uh, then the other one is uh, synthetic oil synthetic engine oil need to be used for good uh, fuel economy and good engine conditions uh, fuel full tank of uh, fuel evening as I said and then the tire pressure has to be maintained uh, as per the recommendation if you uh, open the manual or open the door of the vehicle on the side you can see the recommended tire pressure of the vehicle if recommended tire pressure is not there your tire life reduces more load on the engine fuel economy comes down so keep the tire pressure adequate renew the air filter as per the scheduled maintenance and also if your vehicle is an old one see to it that your air filter is clear or not if it is not clean just remove it because pure air getting into the engine can increase uh, the fuel economy of your vehicle uh, use narrow type of tires uh, for reducing aerodynamic drag for style people use big tires and that will uh, increase a lot of the vehicle and also the aerodynamic drag increases so the fuel economy comes down so if you want more fuel economy use the recommended narrow type of tires and then the final or the third one is uh, mental driving style choose the easier roads avoid roads with signals avoid roads with train crosses railway crosses avoid roads with gutters and uh, so that the speed of the vehicle can be consistent and you are not downing the gears always or braking has to be reduced so come down so that fuel economy it helps to increase the fuel economy and uh, use a bike when you travel to a nearest uh, place or walk don't use a car so your fuel price will come down it's not about fuel economy but about a green earth concept uh, your fuel price will come down over there uh, travel other, with others if you have friends if you're traveling to the same place don't use two vehicles use your friend's vehicle travel with him fuel uh, consumption and your cost will come down over there and use public transport use bus use a, a bus yeah, actually in a day or two uh, so that's a social commitment your expense for the day comes down you fail fuel uh, economy will come down it's not about fuel economy but the fuel cost that you are spending will come down by doing this you will get up to 20 percentage fuel consumption you do half of it at least you will get 10 uh, to 15 percentage for sure and if you have any doubt please uh, uh, put a comment please click the subscribe button so that you can get more technical video updates which will directly come to your inbox please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate our team thanks for watching this video have a great day